Going forward, the majority chairman of the House Ways and Means Committee and the Senate Finance Committee will have nearly unlimited power to target and make public the tax returns of private citizens. And not just private citizens, political enemies, business and labor leaders, or even the returns of Supreme Court justices themselves. No party in Congress should have that power. No individuals in Congress should have that power. It's a power to embarrass, to harass, or destroy um, Americans through disclosure of their tax returns. I hope he at least stretched before reaching so far. That was Congressperson Kevin Brady out of Texas with a warning that releasing Trump's tax returns could lead to the release of tax returns from private citizens. Fear-mongering. It's the finances version of cancel culture is coming after you, you non-politician, celebrity, entertainer, or rich person who none of this applies to. You know, accountability is what I think they mean by being canceled. Speaking of accountability, Trump should have released his tax returns already. It's at the very least suspicious that he hasn't done so. I'll get back to this in a minute, but what I want to briefly focus on is the to target and make public the tax returns of Supreme Court justices part of what Rep. Brady had to say. There's no downside to that. This could be a part of the vetting process of people who will receive lifetime appointments. Now, as much as I would like to see tax returns or anything really where I could learn how much a justice would say spend on beer, likes beer, Timmy's for skis with Judge, Tom, PJ, Bernie, and, and Squee, or how past debt was paid off. Okay, maybe those two things only apply to one justice's finances, but if we could see tax returns, it would cut the legs from under one justice in particular. And the best part of being a justice? It's, first of all, it's, um, it'd be impossible without you. I'm, I have to be honest. I mean, it would be... Um, it's sort of like, how do you run with one leg? That was Supreme Court Justice Clarence Thomas with a sweet, wonderful sentiment towards his wife, Jeannie, that I'm going to look into too deep. Again, if we could see tax returns from justices and they filed them jointly with their spouses, then we could possibly learn about past involvement with cults and how much a role significant others play in making decisions. Or if the wife of a Supreme Court justice said, quote, the most important thing you can realize right now is that there are no rules in war and this war is psychological, psyop to the chief of staff when the peaceful transfer of power was in order, perhaps we could see if payments were made to fund this, quote, military operation usually aimed at influencing the enemy's state of mind through non-combative means. And I'm not going to go as far as say that it's a declaration of war on U.S. citizens, but I will say that's treason. Am I the one reaching now? No. Tax returns could show us a lot of needed information and in how people in power communicate with one another. Kind of like text messages is my point. So that got oddly specific. Anyways, with this said, House panel voted to release Trump's tax information despite threats from Republicans like Kevin Brady. No word yet on when these Trump tax returns will become available though, but tax info from 2015 to 2020 will be made public. His personal information will be redacted. And if your response to this is, we should include Nancy Pelosi's tax information too. You're right, we should. All government officials really. I think that's what Republicans who don't like this move are afraid of and they're just passing the fear on to private citizens. Democrats might hate this too, but I guess we'll find out. For Rebel HQ, I'm Jeff Wiggins. My architect knows Japanese. For more from the Young Turks, stay right here. To see additional content from yours truly, click on the Jeff Wiggins hashtag. You can also find me on my YouTube channel, We Gonna Be Alright. Thanks for watching.